Hi guys! Today is Wednesday and for Wednesday we want to do a special uh, What's Up Wednesday for Reich Busters uh, Project Brill. As you probably know, we're in the middle of a Kickstarter campaign for uh, Joan of Arc 1.5, but that doesn't mean uh, we can't show you very, very uh, exciting things for Reich Busters. We have received the plastic versions for the core box. Well, not everything, but almost everything. I'm going to show you really, really uh, close uh, what we got, but this is so exciting. This is, this is the final plastic production for uh, the core box. Uh, we will receive soon uh, the one for Project X. So I just brought uh, the Project X uh, painted uh, resin mini. Uh, but the rest is plastic and i also brought you some of some painted mini so you can see a comparison between the plastic and uh, uh, the resin masters so we will receive project x and we will also receive not of this earth expansion later but let's see a little closer what we have let's start with the dot tags as you know the dot tags are instead of <laughs> of uh, paper tokens, you will now have to determine your order, these uh, dot tags. So uh, this one is uh, the number one. So once you've played, you simply turn it and then you know it's for number two or number three uh, and, and so on, right? So usually you decide who's going to play first and then you take your token. And as you know, uh, when the alarm has been uh, uh, turned on, uh, <laughs> the, the, it will be random, right? So these are the dot tags. They look really, really cool. Yeah, these are cool. I'll bring them with me. Okay, you know which one I want to start with immediately? I want to show you uh, the Vril Panzer. So the Vril Panzer is absolutely incredible. Uh, it's, it's big, it's all uh, assembled. You don't need to assemble anything. And look at, look at the details. I mean, really, really, I'm telling you guys, you, you won't see, I can't see the difference with uh, the resin masters that we had. It's really that great. So if you want to see him next to a, a normal sized uh, mini, you can see how big and impressive his, he is. He is super cool. This is the plastic exactly as you will receive. And you can see uh, that we have textured uh, bases. This is so cool. So of course, you know that you will receive Project X just for you to see uh, the difference. So this is how, how big Project X uh, will be. And if you want to see Project X next to a Brill Panzer is the size difference. Very, very impressive indeed. When we receive Project X in plastic, I'll do another video. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So uh, how about we see a little bit of the heroes? Uh, let's show you, for instance, Bjorn. So here's Bjorn, uh, and here's his, the first, the initial uh, resin uh, mini that we had. We changed it a little bit after we painted him. So uh, we made him taller and bigger. This is why you can see that the plastic uh, is, is bigger. Uh, it has more, uh, yeah, uh, the pose is, is, is more exaggerated, is, uh, is more dynamic, I think, and he's bigger. Uh, but then you can see the difference between one and, and the other. Let me show you a few other Reich Busters. Uh, so, yeah, you know, Brick. Uh, if you want to see him next to a normal size guy, or you will see that he's really tall. Look at him next to Claudine. So you see, uh, you have them in a different color, like this mustard uh, yellow color. 
So if you don't paint them, uh, you will easily recognize them from uh, the Nazis who are all gray. Let me show you some others. Uh, maybe, you know, well, Flaming Joe is really cool as well. Um, let me show you Doc, the French guy. I remember an update where <laughs> I put my face on him <laughs> because he's French. So he's a doc, so he can heal. He's one of the only who can do that. Um, let's see, Tani and, oh, yes, and Sarge. Sarge is really cool. And Tani is really cool as well. Very, very dynamic and very, very nice. This is the plastic, I, I can't believe. It really, really, really is detailed. Uh, you know, the weapons are not bendy. They're very, very hard. So, yes, you can see it's it, it's very, very, very straight. Um, look at Brad. You remember Brad? Very, very dynamic and very... This is the one that we unlocked at the very end of the campaign. It seems like yesterday. And soon it will be delivered to you guys. We're working on the final details and... Now that the plastic production is approved, well, we still have to maybe confirm or rework a little things, but I wanted to show you where we were uh, anyway. Let's see, Hans and Remy. Remy is very dynamic indeed. And Hans is our German hero. Uh, who else can I show you? Oh, yeah. I can show you Quentin and O'Reilly. O'Reilly is our Irish guy, uh, as his favorite. <laughs> he played him very well. I remember uh, a, a great game that we played on uh, Not of This Earth, where he was so efficient. And Quentin is uh, a very, a very good character who can be very quiet and who can... Uh, He's, yeah, he's a phlegmatic British Reichbuster. Irena and Goldberg, or not sure of the pronunciation for this one. Yeah, the details are really, 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 really cool. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, yes, maybe Prof. Oh, and Boschka. Yeah, Prof is uh, a Canadian uh, professor. So she's super smart, the smartest uh, Reichbuster. You see uh, the Canadian helmet on her back. And Boschka is our Russian uh, or Soviet, <laughs> we can even say. Rashbuster. Um, I forget any of them. I think, oh yeah, Red Hawk, of course. Uh, I think that with Red Hawk, that'll be it. Yeah, always, always a pleasure to see uh, Red Hawk. And again, if we if we have a problem with, uh, yeah, Red Hawk is going to be reworked. I think uh, we want uh, the, the gun to be more straight and not aim. We don't want her to aim too high, you see? So she, we might rework her. But as you know, this is the first thing that we received. It's not uh, completely uh, uh, final. Okay, so let me show you now uh, some real Meisters. Gisela Gruber, a very a favorite of a lot of, of people. So she's a more organic Braille Meister. 
you can see her in the uh, in the video for <laughs> not of this earth expansion if you haven't seen it you could still check it out on our youtube channel we have her brother His name is Gruber. I don't remember his first name. Still Gruber, but... We have Gen General Wolf in his, uh, in his chair. He's super cool as well. The details are really, 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 really cool. General von Eisen, don't remember exactly again. I should have double checked it, but you will re remember and recognize him. With his mutated hand, his other hiding hand. And well, he, yeah, he's heavily mutated by Brill. Uh, what I can show you are some. Uh, Experience 3XX, so these are the mutated dogs. And as you remember, we, we had some alternate versions thanks to the uh, stretch goals, the un unlocked uh, stretch goals. Yeah, they're really, really nice. Uh, because they're mutated dogs, let's show you some dogs. And I want to show you the resin one so you can see uh, that the difference is really minimal, uh, not to say. Yes, it's shrunk a little bit, maybe by 6%. So the plastic version is uh, slightly smaller, but you, you can't really tell on, 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 this, on this one. They're really very, very similar. And I can tell you, uh, I'm watching them from, from here. Of course, the painted one, you can see more details because it's painted, but if you really look at the detail, it's, it's exactly the same. Really, that's very, very, very impressive. Oh, look at those as well, yeah. Look at these ones. So again, the painted and the unpainted one. These are the tracking bombers. Yeah, well, you can see here that we didn't have them with the textured bases and in the final plastic ones, they are textured. Um, I can show you some zombies again. Painted and unpainted. Actually, we made them taller, so the plastic ones are bigger this time, even uh, in spite of the shrinkage. Um, oh, yeah, I can show you the uh, scientist. Painted and unpainted. And you see Yes, maybe, maybe there's a little shrinkage on this one. Maybe the, uh, the, the unpainted one is slightly smaller, but you can hardly tell. Yeah, really, really nice. Um, yeah, I didn't show you something, but this is the... Uh, the tracking, uh, the turn tracker, it, it's nice. It's with a little uh, arrow. So when you reach a certain uh, number, the alarm goes on, <laughs> it's triggered. The alarm is triggered. Um, okay, uh, let me show you real fast uh, the sentry the gun and the sentry flamer. So we have four of them. Well, let me just take two of them. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, yeah, these are the detectors. 
So I can show them in uh, different angles, just like this. With the scientist, I didn't show you this guy also, you know, carrying a, a real Oh, the Uber Soldaten. Let me show you some Uber Soldaten. Look at them, really, really strong and big. Uh, if you want to see them next to a normal size human. Uh, the big gun gunners. <laughs> Oh, I'm very, I'm really excited about this one. This one is Experiment 1080. So 1080A, so before it's become like really, it's evolved into uh, the, the awful version. <laughs> and after it's evolved, <laughs> it's now really big. And look at all the details on this one. I remember this one was, this was one of the last, uh, uh, stretch goals that we stretch goal that we unlocked. Well, stretch goals because you, we we unlocked both ver both versions. Sorry. Again, if you want to see him next to a normal size human, you can see that he's really really big. Uh, with the soldiers, I didn't show you the shooting soldiers. Um, so we have, we really have uh, two of them, like the walking ones and uh, the shooting ones. It's, it's nice. Uh, this one I want to show you, it's uh, the experiment uh, 601. We don't have it here, but we will receive it. So it's, it's, it's coming. But yes. Yeah, it will be super cool to, to have this one. Uh, yes, I've gone through almost everything. Yeah, I didn't show you the uh, the reaching uh, out zombies, like uh, you know, reaching out with their hands. Um, so we have two two different kinds of zombies, and I've painted one for reference. And finally, uh, there's something I'm really, really super excited to show you. And these are the doors. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. Look at these doors. You see? They can really open. So you can leave them open. You can close them. It works really, really nice. See? Again. Very super high quality. We were very, very happy with the, the final result. So these are nice, nice doors. Uh, so this is the, the, the first level doors. We have some others. We have these ones, which are harder. So this is one, this is, you know, this is level three and this is level two. So level two are here. So this is standard doors. This is level two doors. Look at that. Very, very cool, very nice quality, and level three doors. And finally, <laughs> we have the biggest of, of all. Look at these ones. You see, you can easily remove it and then Look at that. Isn't it cool? So if you open it, you simply remove this. So I'm super impressed with the doors. They're very high quality, they look super cool, and it will add a lot of uh, 3D uh, uh, environment uh, in your games. So that's it, look at that. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? I, I can't wait. Actually, I'm going to play this game as soon as uh, the Journal of the uh, Kickstarter campaign is over. I will play with the new rules, with the new, uh, because we are receiving uh, a brand new uh, 
uh, prototype with the final material. I'm going to play that. I'm going to be super excited. And we'll talk to you about that very soon. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'll be soon back to you with some other videos, I hope. Bye-bye.